Today I'm going to be answering some of your most frequently asked questions while I work on this brand new commission. What is the best way for me to start offering prints? I highly recommend that you outsource them first, that way you can measure the demand and then decide to do them yourself if you want to and if it's right for your business. What is the best piece of advice that I've got for beginner artists? No matter what you create, your artwork is a reflection of who you are as a person. It is all of your experiences, your perspective, it is your life, it is your joy, it is your spirit created onto a canvas or whatever you're working with. Like, And that is the most incredible thing. And that is what your audience, what your collectors, what the beautiful people who follow you on your journey are seeing in themselves. Like there's a part of you that they can see reflected. There's a part of what you're tapping into in your flow state that connects with them and they can't even put it into words. So try to get to know yourself. What do you want to say in the world? So be aware of that. Get to know who you are. That is so important because if you self-actualize, you can help the people that are enjoying your art do the same. Like, it is so powerful. How do you become a professional artist? I get this question every single day and let me tell you, there are a lot of things that go into doing this full time. I like to think of it as you've got two different hats. You've got your artist hat and then you've got your business person hat and both of them need to be able to work together and in a way that suits your creative flow. Learn business skills, take masterclasses, courses, learn how to do graphic design and how to build a website, coding, um, product development. There are so many different things. What inspires your artwork? The fact the fact that life is a thing inspires me beyond belief. <laughs> I'm just so excited to be alive. I think that that's something that we should be celebrating, like, and it's not something that we often think about in our day to day, but like, uh, uh, Skittles exist. <laughs> that is something to be excited about. Like, just all the joys about being a human and being able to experience things. I think that that is so worthy and so... Yeah, just incredible. Like, yeah. <laughs> I just feel very deeply about beautiful things and the freedom in our precious lives. Like, that is just, it moves me so much to the point of tears, like, often. So, I think that's what my work's about. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me in this little FAQ. This painting was an absolute joy to paint and is actually for the incredible Hamilton Bennett. Um, if you don't know who that is, that is the person behind the COVID vaccine in the States. So what an absolute honor to create this piece for her. This is an odd painting. I'm, I'm sorry, it started so strong. I had such a good idea. So many people were excited for it. So many messages on Instagram, just people being like, oh my God, Talia, it looks so cool. I can't wait to see it finished. And <laughs> I don't know, I, is it okay? I, I like the bird. This is probably the best painting that I've ever done. And it's dedicated to you and me and the whole year that has been 2020. I wanted this painting to totally have like a new beginnings kind of vibe, boldness, fun, expression, and like really just vibrant. This painting just came about so effortlessly. Like even looking at her just like makes me feel so good. Like, I don't know, there's something about it. She's just got such a great energy. This has to be the most challenging painting I've ever worked on. The entire background is solid 24 karat gold leaf. I was going through an absolute roller coaster of emotions while I was painting this piece and I totally think she was worth all the ups and downs. This is the finished piece. I hope you adore her as much as I do. I was really surprised with how this painting turned out. I completely changed my idea for this piece like three, four times while I was painting it. I ended up putting away the reference photo that I put together for this piece and just decided to like, you know, let go in the moment and all the fun stuff that you guys have just been loving lately. And it actually turned out really simple. I'm totally vibing with the flat backgrounds lately and I can't wait to see what I do with it in the next piece. This is a tutorial on how I go about creating a study. To start this painting, I laid down a flat base of color. I'm using spray paint to do this, but you can just use regular acrylic paint. And then I'm blocking in the form with the transparent mid-tone. I mixed up some cad red, some phthalo blue, and some dioxazine purple to create this color. Try your best to be very loose and general in this stage. Like you don't want anything to be perfect right now, just very general, kind of right, might be wrong shapes. Then start refining the form with the darker color. As you can see, I'm adding a little bit more blue to that mix to create sort of a chromatic black look. Now that the features are a little bit more accurate, this is where you can start to see the piece really come to life by adding opaques. Pay really close attention to your reference photo in this stage, you can go back and glaze again, but I would highly recommend that you go from dark to light, but you can always like mix and match, I always do, <laughs> like it's not as streamlined, but just try to have as much fun because that's what a study is all about. There are so many ways you can go about doing a study, you can experiment with processes, materials, subject matter. A good thing to think about while you're doing them is, am I enjoying this? Am I having a good time? Is this a potential direction? I got a little bit too in the zone while I was doing this one and forgot to record the last 
last bit, but you can see that really bright, vibrant red, and that is just fluorescent red Posca pen. Creating regular studies is a fantastic way to be a little bit more expressive in your work, to pursue a little bit more authenticity because it's driven by fun, exploration, and play, and what could be better than that in your practice? Day in my life as a full-time artist. Today started off by unboxing our brand new metal prints, which will be available at the end of July. Then I cleaned off my painting palette to make room to work with these brand new Old Holland oil paints, and the consistency was just so incredible. Once my palette was laid down, I started working on the first layer of oil paint on my latest piece. Then I did an Alla Prima sketch on this gesso board, and honestly, I'm super proud of the results. To finish off my painting day, I primed this canvas with acrylic and colored gesso, which creates a lot of variation for me to pull from as I finish the piece.